I attract crazy people, and now hear me out. Hello everyone and welcome to another Monday video, and as you can tell from the title, I had another experience with a crazy person on a train. Yay. Now you may be asking, Stefan, how could you possibly have another experience with a crazy person? And truth be told, I don't know. Universe, why do you hate me so? But anyways, the story. I was on a train with innocence in my heart. Grave mistake. Because as soon as the train got to the first stop after I got on, a lady got on the train with her dog and sat down right next to me. And then we began to talk. Grave mistake. And not so much later, like last time, things went horribly wrong. We started the conversation off normally. We talked about her dog and how to keep it calm. Probably should have been my first tip that things would not go well. And then we started talking about her life and how she was a skier. Awesome. How she was a rapper. Go girl. And how she was on the run from the secret police. Wait, what? I don't know what she was trying to do with the secret police. I think she was supposed to be writing a book to expose their evil doings. Might be it. See, I had no idea if she was joking with me or if she was telling the truth. But then the train approached her house. Then we saw police. In front of her house. So she remained on the train. Next to me. Yay. And while the outside of my face seemed calm, the inside of my head was going like, Oh my god, this girl's crazy. This is how it's gonna happen. This is how I'll die. And then we went back to the conversation and talked about what kept her calm. Like praying and rubbing her fingers. Uh, but of course I was thinking, I don't wanna die. See, a normal person would have just tried to end the conversation nicely and get off the train. <laughs> Really nice having this conversation with you, but um, uh, bye. <laughs> but being the complete awkward train wreck of a human being I am, I did none of those things. See, I was trying to keep her calm because I thought she was going to kill me. And then I made the dumbest mistake of the night. I told her what train station I was getting off at. The freak, Stefan. See, at that moment, I didn't think it was the dumbest thing in the world. I was wrong. But then she said, Oh, I think I'll follow you. I was like, Arr. So once we got off the train, I was hoping my brain would go into MacGyver mode and come up with an awesome situation where I could get rid of that lady. Yeah, my brain was just like, Arr. But a saving grace came. Two guys also got off the train and by some miracle convinced that lady to follow them home. I wasn't sure whether to be ecstatic or completely terrified with what could happen. But she left me without saying goodbye. And the first thing that went through my mind is, THANK THE LORD! And I booked my butt home. Locked all the entrances to the building I was staying at and freaked out over what just happened. And you know what better way to get over this moment than make a video about it? I'm starting to regret this decision. Now you may be asking, Stefan, why did she sit next to you? Well, my beautiful Bambino, it turns out that this beautiful hat that I love so much reminded her of her daughter. Yeah, that was great for my self-esteem. So now this sucker is responsible for two scenarios with crazy people on a train. Why did you do this to me? Leave me alone, I never want to see you again. No, 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 I need it back. I need it to be with me forever. Yeah, I'm totally the normal one. But now I'm wondering, what if that lady was telling the truth about her and the secret police? Okay, if I don't upload a video next week, guys, you know who got me. But then I realized I was on public transportation at night. So it was kind of my own fault. So, what was your weirdest experience with public transportation? Leave that in the comment section down below. I guess we can kind of act like a therapy group to get over these situations. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and share. New videos every Monday and Friday, and also my daily vlogs on No Way But Norway. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully. This is Stefan, signing out.